So welcome back to our tutorial. So in this case, after we finish a number of the two-dimensional effect by using Touch Designer, we move to a new topic. So we introduce the use of three-dimensional graphical environment. So before we have anything start to work on, we use the tab key to invoke this selection dialog. And first of all, before we start on with creating any three-dimensional model, we need to have some preparation. The first thing is a component we call the geometry, GEO. So within the geometry, we define the three-dimensional objects. After the geometry, we also need to define a view or how we look at this particular model by using a camera. So the camera will be pointing to this particular graphical objects. And the third one will be the use of light. So we define the light in terms of the, for example, position, direction, and also the color of the light in order to illuminate these particular objects. So those are the three basic steps we need to do when we are working in the three-dimensional environment. So eventually, the 3D objects we create within the geometry will be shown on this particular computer screen. And for this computer screen, we need to render the 3D object into the two-dimensional two view. So this particular step we call the render. So the render is actually converted 3D into 2D. So we move back to our 2D with the use of top rather than the composition or component over here. So we go back to the top with the render objects. So once I press the render objects over here, you will see some of the dotted line connecting the geometry, the camera, and also the light back to these render objects. And the output of the render object will, as usual, we will convert it back to the output box over here. So this is the final output and those are the location. We define the geometry, the objects, the camera, the light, and then we do the rendering to the output. So you may also ask at this point of time our geometry is in form of this particular objects and this funny object actually we can have a look by choosing the wheel. And the wheel will be a little bit different from the usual way when we were on with 2D. And you see the coordinates axis around here. So when you enlarge, and actually you can use your mouse to do some sort of rotation, manipulation of this particular object. So it is a torus or a donut shape, three dimensional objects. You can also see that the manipulation you perform on the geometry, they will not take effect into the rendering at this point. So you see only the, the graphical object from other direction, but the camera actually seeing the original one. And if you would like to actually manipulate, for example, the position, the rotation of this mm -hmm. object, or even the scale, the size of this one. You can go to the geometry and then the parameter over here and you see in the transform there's a lot of options you can change. For example, the translation and the rotation. And once you do the transformation over here, you can see the view from the render window. And finally, for the output, they will change to something like this one, rather than the, the objects in the center of the universe. And 
if we would like to move to other objects rather than this donut form, you can actually go inside this particular geometry by doing a double click. So once you did a double click, you will open up the geometry and you can verify the location of this one like this. In the outer part, we call the project one. So this is the default one. We come to the project one. And when we double click on one of the component, it will move inside to the geometry one. So actually this is a torus or a donut. And if you do not like to have a donut over here, you can delete this one. And then replace it by another objects. So for 3D objects or model, we move to the next section, the SOP, which is the surface operator. You can move, for example, to something like a box. And then create a box right here. So a box is actually a cube with the size 1, 1, 1 in the x, y, and z dimension. So if you go back to the project, you will see nothing because we haven't done something inside the geometry. So you would like to see this particular box appear in the outside of the project 1. You need to enable the display thread and also the render thread in order to make it visible and render in the outside project. So once you have done this one, you will see, for example, over here, the objects around here. You can also reset the translation to have a look of the default one and also the rotation. So this is the default location in the center of the screen. And you would like to move some transformation. You can perform right here. So you will see the operation like this one. And you can also, for example, modify the lighting parameter for the lighting, if you go to the light, you see the default light is this gray tone. And you can try to work on with other colors by selecting or by mixing your own. So those are the initial operation you can try to manipulate when we first work on with the three-dimensional graphical objects. So those are the essential part. So whenever you would like to make use of the geometry. So in the later section, we'll try to work on with how you can move the objects and how you can transform or apply some sort of texture on top of these graphical objects.